What is up, guys? This is Lito290 coming at you with another awesome video. This is going to be me doing a Let's Play of a PlayStation 2 game, as you saw right there. I do have a PlayStation 2, and if you can't already tell by this little screen, the game is called Escape from Monkey Island. Now, this is a game that I really like. It's a nice, quizzical puzzle kind of game. And it's more of an adventure game than that. So as you can see, this game was made by Lucas Arts, which is also one of the leading developers for the Star Wars series of games way back when. So here we are, Escape from Monkey Island. That character in the background you see floating is Elaine. We'll get into her later. But um, as you can see, I have already started a file. This is my um, start file. That's the lava field. That's actually one of the last areas in the game. And as you can see, 4 hours and 41 minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. And we have to watch this terrible, terrible credit sequence at the start that you cannot skip. Because I would have. But we're greeted with that nice little monkey looking through a telescope. And the music here is just pretty cool. I like it. And there you go. The Dominic Armato is Guybrush Marley Threepwood, who is the main character. And sorry for the uh, audio stuff that kind of Fs up, but... There it goes. The music here is actually pretty good if I can get it to run correctly. I tried to capture this all in one go. I had like five videos in succession and it was virtual dub, so I don't know exactly how well it would have captured audio. So, you know, all that jazz. And all the whales and the stuffs. There's Guybrush on the left, and Elaine on the right. And, uh, I think there's one more photo after this, and that's it. Oh, nope, two more. Mm, yeah, there's the monkey looking through the telescope. Okay, so the backstory on this game, this is actually the third game in the series, I believe. It's the first one in 3D. Here we go. Backstory. From the personal log of Guybrush Threepwood. Sometimes when it's quiet, I can still hear the monkeys. It's hard to believe that it's only been a few years since I first washed up on the beaches of Melee Island, armed with nothing more than a goofy name and an overpowering urge to become a swashbuckling pirate. I want to be a pirate. Who could have suspected that such a humble pursuit would lead me to cross swords with the evil ghost pirate LeChuck, the slimiest slug ever to plunder the Seven Seas? <laughs> And who could have guessed that my battles with LeChuck would introduce me to the love of my life, Melee Island's Governor Elaine Marley. Or that my efforts to win Elaine's hand would repeatedly drag me to the mystery-drenched shores of Monkey Island. That's the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. Or that I would finally end the scourge of LeChuck, burying him beneath a mountain of ice. Not me, that's for sure. Back then, the only thing duller than my sword was my wit. Now look at me. I'm married to the most beautiful governmental official in the Caribbean. The entire Tri-Island area shudders at the sound of my name. And now my plunder bunny and I are returning to Melee Island. After the most incredible honeymoon in the history of... Guybrush! Uh, yes, dear. And so here we go. The ship is under siege by a bunch of pirates. This should be good. Let's see. Game is loading. Hit loading. Alright, so those are not the graphics of the game that you'll actually have to deal with. These are the graphics that you'll have to deal with. And I'm not moving him. Um, I think my controller is kind of a... Screwing up at the moment. That's embarrassing. That yeah, I don't think anyone reloaded that cannon, but uh 
my controller is going to f they up now. Those bullies. I I'm actually post commentating this, so I don't realize that my controller's turned off for a, a for a little me. bit. But um, you know, stuff. Anyway, I'm going to uh, cut the video here and uh, resume it in a minute. All right, so we are back, and uh, I fixed my controller. And uh, here's coals. basically what you have to do: you have to use your wit. So there's a loaded cannon, and there's a bunch coals. of hot coals. You can only imagine what you have to do, right? You have to fire the loaded cannon at the enemy pirate ship, of course. How do you do that? You use the hot coals. So, so just because you're tied up to a pole doesn't mean that yeah, there's an enemy pirate floating over there. I'm not picking that up. <laughs> Yeah, he always does that. There's an enemy pirate fighting over well, anyway, um, excuse me. I don't suppose you'd mind just leaving us alone. I'll give you all my milk money. Yeah, he always makes dumbass comments like that. Um, excuse me. I guess he doesn't want to talk. So to anyway, you. what you have to do is you have to knock um, the brazier of hot me. coals over and pick one up with your feet and just throw it at the cannon and light it money. so that it fires. Don't know um, how you're supposed to know me. that without some sort of guide, I but again, this is a strategy puzzle game. There's only so limited options you can do at this point on the ship. It's the graded door to the ship's cargo hold. And that is a graded door. important things to do than putz around in the cargo hold. Well, you couldn't do it anyway because you're tied up to the pole. That cannon looks ready to fire. Only I could get that thing to go off. <gasps> There's a hint. Oh my god. A mask, I doubt I could pick up that cannon. There's an enemy pirate fighting over there. There's an enemy pirate fighting over there. Um, excuse me. I just, I, I start messing around a little bit just alone. to... I'm trying to remember because I try hitting a bunch of buttons to uh, get the brazier of hot coals to knock over and it wasn't working. So I decided to try doing something else. And then I'm just like, okay, I know I need to get the hot coals. I know that that in some way has to happen. And then I screw up the controls because I'm terrible at this game. I haven't played it in a while. So I end up turning the entire other way around. And I finally knock it over. I should try to pick one up if I want to yeah, try to do see. something with it. So I hit square and it picks it up with your foot. He's bouncing it back and forth so his feet don't get burned. And you do it at the cannon, not the loaded cannon. You'll kick it. That didn't do anything. Doesn't I work. Suppose that's probably because it's not loaded. So we're going to try this again. And there is this little Easter egg that I want to show you guys. You pick it up, you head over toward the pirate chunk it at the pirate. Here we go. Better not try that again. There's a pile <laughs> of red hot coal yeah, simmering no on shit. the deck there. Now I'm glad we got the ship with the flame retardant lacquered deck wood. Isn't that great? Alright, so now no more fooling around. We're going over. We're going to kick it at the cannon. I don't know how this little cannon does such a thing, but just watch. Cutscene time. One shot from a cannon. Got no idea how one shot did it, but you know. Hey, Elaine, could you untie me? Yeah, and you see the audio has been cutting in and out a little bit. Been trying to fix that, so. We're loading. We shall see the next cutscene of the game. And this should be fun. Things to do on Melee Island when you're dead. Whoa, there. No one died. We lived. We destroyed the pirates. What happened? Land ho! Sorry, I'm a little sick. So sorry if you heard me uh, snivel there. The way I pushed that smelly pirate Let's right see. over the rail. Now that's the stuff of pirates. I hope the loyal citizens of Manly don't hurt themselves. I mean, you know, all the pushing and shoving on the dock to see my, uh, well, our return. Could be dangerous. Make sure this one stays on top. Then there was the swab who came at me with the rusty fid. I sure taught him a thing or two about the proper use of deck chairs. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> ah, 
got it. The burden of being the governor of such an adoring yet unsophisticated public can be so draining. I'll be lucky if I can get a no, second dead. to myself for months. You know, we make a great team. The way we communicate, the way we work together, the way we anticipate each other's every move. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Hmm. Oh well, here it goes. Might as well get all the hullabaloo over with. What? Where is everyone? Maybe everyone went to bed early? Where's the welcoming Total committee? The banners? The crushing failure. throng of well-wishers? Oh dear, do you know what this means? We can spend another three months honeymooning. Oh, you horny idiot. Oh, no, you adorable numbskull. Something has gone horribly wrong while I've been away. N nothing else can explain. What's oh, well. Let's see what Elaine has to say about it. Hey, it's Timmy the monkey. How are you, boy? <laughs> well, we just heard a monkey screech. That's certainly evident. The litter box is fuller. He's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? Timmy. <laughs> Timmy? Is something wrong? <laughs> really? Free grog at the scum Stupid bar? Fool. There's been an outbreak of scurvy? <laughs> you won 74 bucks playing bingo but lost it all playing banana fingers. Uh, scum bar's behind you, idiot. <laughs> Possible. Let's go. <laughs> I love Elaine's expression, just face palm. Okay then. <laughs> Don't know how they randomly picked that up from monkey pointing that way three times. And look, the scumbar was behind them for crying out loud. See the little sign right there. We'll visit there later. There's a catapult and there's some doing? weird piratey looking kid trying to chunk boulders at what is that house place? It's pretty big. <laughs> okay, well this is where we're gonna stop for now and uh I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, y'all. Yeah.